We begin in Shipton village. In the local churchyard there are two memorials to the Mighty Eighth. The first to the right is exclusively for those who served at Shipton airfield. The second is on the local war memorial. It's on the cross in front of us. As we approach the memorial we gain an insight into the thought, the detail and the care that has gone into it. The fallen airmen are commemorated on the same memorial as the Shipton dead of two world wars. On the memorial to the mighty eighth, we see the capital A outline that traces the three runways. Below it is the inscription to the memory of those who flew from the base. Just outside the town of Shipton, the airfield is still in use as the base for a flying club. Beside the clubhouse, there is an inscribed memorial and also a memorial garden with the stars and stripes proudly beside them both. The centrepiece of the clubhouse is the Liberator Bar. Beside the clubhouse is a small but excellent museum of photos and artefacts. It's well worth a visit if you're ever in the locality. The plan of the airfield as it was in 1944 shows the long main runway with the other two runways crossing it to form the traditional A shape and around the perimeter, the dispersal points for the bombers. These features are all clearly visible on the photograph of the airfield taken in 1946. Looking at the map of the airfield as it is today, it's clear that the runway shape is largely preserved, but part of the main runway has been removed. Other features, such as these three dispersal points, are also visible around the perimeter of the airfield.